Hello my lovelies, Robbie here from Kickback Garage. In this video we are going to put together a Castle Performance side case. Now that might seem simple but there are some uh, tips and tricks in this video if you plan on buying one of these beauties. I'll see you after the intro. <laughs> Messing around with these cameras, battery is going flat. I'm a clear to the merang, all the sprung in log of villa come under talk. In your novice, my car to have the forty frog for what to do or draw. Can we phone? Can I send and come? The husband took over, so we are the brother last summer. Right, as you can see, I have rigged up my camera overhead cam. <laughs> Hold it right there. Before we carry on on the video, I really want to run you through because I didn't realize this until I started to fit this case, things that you might need when you're gonna fit your uh, castle side case. Number one, kickstart uh, spring. I reckon that should come with it because everything else is there. Why not just uh, throw the spring as well? Not everybody has got a build that they're, uh, they can steal the spring off and uh, renewing your kickstart spring is always a good idea. Uh, number two, if you are fitting an Li uh, SX type uh, kickstart ramp, which is the recommended uh, one to do, not the uh, DL, then you will also need the kickstart ramp, the three special screws for that, and the and the skinny washers. Uh, it also does not come with a breather, so you're going to have to steal a breather off your. Uh, other scooter, if it's a completely new build, then you're going to need to have a new breather. Uh, what else? You also, apart, as well as the breather, you also need a magnetic drain plug. You do not need a level plug because you'll see that in a second that comes with it. And the last but not least, I think uh, it should really have a uh, gasket for the uh, cable block or um, yeah the cable holder right carry on again so hopefully you can see what I'm doing here uh, and hopefully I can use this on uh, other videos as well as you can see the cast performance side case comes with lots of gubbins here so when you're going to fit one of these remember one thing to remember is you're probably going to have to cut your cables, or if you've got a decent set of trunnions like the Oiltech trunnions, which I do not on this build, um, so I had to cut my cables, uh, because it uh, comes with a new adjuster block for your uh, wires and cables. Um, the reason for that is because the angle of the clutch actuation arm. And what I thought I'd do is uh, show you how to put this thing together. Now it all sounds uh, pretty basic, but these do not come with uh, instructions and I haven't seen any instructions out on the interwebs either. And uh, I have a friend of mine, not gonna mention any names, Adrian, but I think he used the wrong uh, plunger. So he has uh, no <laughs> uh, clutch and he had to uh, ride a Vespa in the Rally in Oslo. Anyway, so this is the uh, black special edition Super Duper. And uh, what I want to do here is uh, get as rid of many bits and bobs here as possible. Now, before you start, uh, one uh, thing I'd like to mention is this comes with everything you need uh, to fit the um, side case except for kickstart spring. I have no idea why. It comes with everything except for the kickstart spring. I reckon they should throw that in the kit as well because if, you, uh, if you're doing a completely new fresh build or you have an LI type side case, this is obviously a GP type side case, um, that means that you, uh, you can't uh, fit this because uh, you're gonna have to order one of these. And one more thing it doesn't come with is a drain plug. And I have bought this item here it, from uh, BGM with a little Vitron uh, ring on there. And that fits on there. But I mean, the plug, obviously, yeah, I've got a few of these uh, lying around. But uh, 
first time trying this type here. So we start off with uh, filling filling the hole here. It comes with two big O-rings. Just uh, I like to grease those up with just some uh, normal grease. I don't think it really matters. And two different sizes on these. This one, the big one. Just place that into its groove, and this seals the uh, cover here. And where is the other, uh, what, what did I do with it? There it is. This is a black case, so I can't see where I put stuff. And then I'll grease up this one. It's always a good idea. Even I even do that on uh, side case gaskets. Just uh, grease them so that they can, uh, there you go, so that they can uh, seal, uh, seal well and don't dry out. Right, so that's that. Then we fit this little cover here, which is metal, by the way, not plastic. I'm trying to make sure that I'm under the camera. Not easy. Hopefully this video will turn out. We fit this to the side case here, and you have these small Allen screws for uh, the side case. What I like to do is uh, use a little bit of uh, Loctite, blue Loctite. I've never lost any of these screws, and you probably might not lose them if you don't lose Loctite, but uh, just for uh, safety, safety sake. And I don't think it matter either. If these sort of rattled out and you lost a couple, I don't think uh, it's not going to uh, seal. And apparently these are a, need a three millimeter for those. So I'll just uh, put a dab of Loctite on these. Like so. Enter them with my fingers just a tiny bit you don't need a lot and just don't tighten them up at all put them all down so that they're all flush to start off with so that you know that the uh, side case is uh, sitting correctly and then I just uh, screw them to once they're all in like so You don't have to tighten these uh, hard at all. And then I uh, nip them up. It's good practice to always start when you're nipping your bolts up, even on the side case itself, it's always good practice to start in the middle and go to the ends. That's at least what I was taught uh, when I trained as a mechanic, when it came to bolting down engine cases. Uh, I think it's got something to do with the uh, the even distribution, and if there's if it's uh, slightly warped, you sort of flatten it from the inside out. Voila. The next thing I do is fit the kickstart seal. I like to grease those a bit. And you're going to need some kind of drift to get that in flush, maybe. I think the last one I did, I actually managed to press it in by hand. I did not. So let's get a drift. This one, maybe. That's that MB uh, drift. There you go. Get that on. And then we are going to uh, build the kickstart itself. Now it comes with a new spring, a new plunger, which is good. So we'll put that together. First off, uh, how do I normally do this? I think first off, I fit the uh, circuit, to tell you the truth. What did I do with the circlip? Let's put that away a little bit. Uh, 
Well, where did I put my sir clip? Where did I put my sir clip? That was very strange. There it is. <laughs> Quite hard to see. I need a proper sir clip player. An internal, an internal circuit player. Pop that in the end here. Make sure it's seated. After you fit the uh, circuit clip, fit the special washer. Should slot down there so it sits there. Fit the spring, which is also included with the kit, into the plunger, like so. You can grease these, or uh, actually what I like to do is I use a little bit of uh, gearbox oil, like so. Just to... Uh, just to make it smooth. And then you are going to use this, which also comes with a kit. It's the kickstart plunger thingy, <laughs> for better terms. This also needs a dab of Loctite on it. On this one, you can use red, but I, I've got away with using uh, blue. So I'm just gonna use blue on it, like so. Compress the plunger. Oh, try and line up the hole. Like so. Enter it into the threads. Find the correct hex key, which I think is a four. It is. And just nip that up. And then just test that the actuation is okay. It's a bit stiff actually. No, it's all right. That'll do. So that's your uh, kickstart prepped. The uh, Casa case uses a strange or a, a different type of uh, drain plug on these. It is basically a uh, hex screw and a washer like that. And that goes into the hole here. Let's find out which. That's obviously another size hex. What size is it? It's a five. Just wind that down in the hole. It's just, <laughs> just doing it in this order because I want to try and get stuff off my bench. Just nip that down, that's your drain plug sorted. And now it is uh, spring and kickstart time. These incidentally do not come with a ramp. I have got a ramp lying around somewhere, I'm gonna find, with the screws, don't remember, don't forget the screws. Uh, I think the reason for that is because if you're using a GP type end plate, so obviously this this will fit um, GP and uh, LISX type, uh, ramp and uh, it also doesn't which I find a little bit odd it also doesn't come with the uh, stop screw I've also got one of those uh, spare somewhere I'll find that uh, later on where did I put that is that in here maybe maybe I've got one there you see Top stop screw, doesn't come with those either. So I'll give you a list when we're done with this, uh, what it doesn't come with. So that you can order the correct parts so you can fit it immediately, because we like that. So what I'd like to do is I'm gonna grease up the uh, bushes here for the kickstart. Loads of grease, 
and can't really have enough for this stuff. I, I like to pack, I like to pack, there's two, obviously two bushes in these, exactly like, um, like a standard side case. And I actually like to pack the area between these, those two bushes with uh, grease. And then I'll put a bit of grease on these surfaces, like so. You need your new spring. The indent, indentated bit is the bit that fits the kickstart shaft. This one fits the case. Just pop it in there. That was actually a bit tight. I had to press it down with a press it, massage it down into the hole. That could just be. I actually haven't had that problem with the others that I built. I've built uh, four or five of these now, uh, and that was. Um, it could have something to do with the anodizing, although I doubt it. There's obviously manufacturing tolerance uh, things going on here. Just ease that in, fit the spring in the back of the kickstart shaft there. And hopefully, should be able to get this to go together. That's all the way through. All right, get that. I'm trying to get that in as far down as it'll go. Because uh, one thing I noticed with the uh, the last couple I've built is the fact that when you go to uh, fit the kickstart shim, which comes in the box, this is kick shaft, kickstart shaft shim. This is uh, 0.9 millimeter actually sits a little bit loose or does it so I, I like to use the one millimeter shims from MB hmm actually I think we're gonna have to use two shims I actually ended up fitting the uh, one millimeter shim from MB and the uh, shim that it came with because there was loads of room there and uh, the problem is if uh, if these don't sit tight they can interfere with your uh, with your clutch here so I like to have those nice and tight and uh, after I fit the uh, circlip make sure that that's that's running free in its groove which it is so I'm going to keep it like that I reckon on this one Oddly, another thing it doesn't come with is the kickstart buffer. So I had to uh, prize out my uh, kickstart buffer out of my uh, other case. I'm gonna have to fit in here. Like so. Right, what I do now is uh, I fit my kickstart shaft just loosely and I fit my uh, kickstart ramp. Like this, with the special, these actually original screws I pulled out of the uh, LI and just acquired. And now we're going to fit the most important bit of this uh, side case, which makes it uh, almost unique. It is the uh, actuating mechanism for the, for the clutch. I'm going to grease this up first. I'm going to grease up uh, the splines and the area in which the bearing sits because unlike uh, normal cases this sits on a bearing and not a bush. And I'm going to put ample grease in the splines here at the bottom. And I also like to have a little dab of uh, gear oil in, in the bearings themselves, like so. And then we slot that puppy in there, like this. The 
that's how that fits. And then you get two plunger mechanisms. Let's open this up. Right, in the packet you get uh, two different plunger systems here. You get this one with the plain end. You would think that that is for the GP clutch. That is wrong. And you get this one with a thimble. And you also get two different size ball bearings here. Now the idea is uh, you have to determine which size uh, ball bearing you uh, use on this. And I have got a standard type clutch. It's, I've actually got the uh, BGM Super Strong. But I think, I can't remember what I used. I think I used, actually used the small bearing and the top hat. But uh, we'll, uh, we'll have a look at that afterwards. And this one is if you've got a clutch that has, um, oh, what's it called? A center bearing on it, uh, unlike the original type that, you know, the Casa clutch and uh, I believe uh, the AF clutch, then you use this plunger. On uh, all other clutches, including standard, use uh, this plunger with a little thimble. Otherwise, you're not gonna un have enough room to, uh, or you're gonna, <laughs> what you're simply just gonna push it out, and you're not gonna get in contact with uh, with your clutch. So uh, let's see if I can slide this. I hope I don't lose those balls there. <laughs> if I can slide this in under here, I can't remember if I could or couldn't. I'm gonna put a bit of grease on there, on the back side. And on the ratchet system itself, hopefully I should be able to simply pop it in there bit tight, there you go, like so. Now the Casa, this, it looks like it's sitting pretty, pretty uh, far into the block, but the uh, Casa side case, that has uh, extra room for these uh, monster clutches that people uh, now like to use. So that's, uh, that's in and correct. And before I do anything else, I can fit the uh, circlip, which fits in the bottom of this actuating rod. There you go. That's uh, sitting in there, nice and secure. Good stuff. Doo -doo -doo -doo. Oh, <laughs> don't push it out too far. Like this. And first off, what I think I'm going to do is... Uh, fit the smaller of the two ball bearings. I've got loads of grease here, like so, and this plunger. And then I'm going to uh, fit it to my case and see if I can find my clutch. Actually, I had so much movement on that, that I uh, think I can get away with using the bigger bearing, like so. Get a lot. Get some grease on there so it doesn't like pop off when I don't want it to pop off. There you go, I give that a try. But I think it should be okay because uh, I haven't fit a side case gasket on the, uh, on the side case yet. So I reckon uh, on standard clutches you can use the thimble and you can use the uh, larger of the um, ball bearings that the kit comes with. Guys. And what I'll do is, I won't fit the uh, lever yet. This comes with a screw. That's why you've got this screw here, which you snug that down with, once you have positioned it in the correct position. And that's easiest to do with the, uh, with the crankcase in, uh, on the engine. Right, so that is the uh, 
side case fit. Uh, really pleased with that. I had all the bits, luckily, lying around that I needed. Uh, I found it easier to uh, fit the clutch arm itself. Obviously, they were at the wrong angle to be able to see that uh, with the clutch in the uh, case. Cool thing about that is uh, I've got quite a hard uh, clutch on this and I can actually move it by hand. So that is promising. Um, yeah. Apart from the fact that it went together quite easy, uh, apart from the fact that uh, I think that they should come with thicker shims or uh, on the kickstart shaft. And I, I remember as well, the last ones that I built of these I've used, actually used the uh, MB one and a half uh, millimeter shim. But on this particular one, I could actually use the 0.9 shim that it comes uh, that comes with it, plus uh, millimeters. That's two millimeters under there, and the action seems to be uh, fine. So, if you uh, like this kind of stuff, don't forget do the old subscribe, give me a thumbs up, comment down below. Is it worth it? Is it worth the hassle? The clutch actuation is uh, very very good on these. The chisel speed one is probably slightly better. Um, that I noticed at least when I measured them uh, back to back. Uh, the main reason why I went for this is because Sebastian fancied it and he likes the look and the looks aren't for everyone. That's all I've got to say about that. Uh, another reason why I went for this is because uh, somewhere down the line we're actually going to build him an engine on a CASA case and then it makes sense to have the CASA side case handy uh, for when we do that. Anyway, I love you and leave you, and I will see you all in the next one, hopefully. <laughs> Ta-ra.